First here on the Now, police on the lookout tonight for the person who opened fire in a Mount Auburn neighborhood in broad daylight. Not on your side, reporter Bryce Onslinger is live with what happened. Bryce. Yeah, Julie, it was a large crime scene. We're here at the uh, what would have been the north end of the crime scene here on Vine Street near Inwood Park. The crime scene stretched several blocks down Vine Street here as police found a uh, victim in the street. They also found his car with bullet holes in it. We have some video of that car, which was found right about where we are here uh, near Coryville in uh, Mount Auburn. Take a look at this video of the victim's black Cadillac. You can see two bullet holes in the passenger side window and one through the middle of the windshield. Now, police are not sure if the man who was shot was inside his car when he was grazed with a bullet or standing on the sidewalk near St. Joe Street in Mount Auburn. Police who live and work in that area say they're trying to clean things up and they're tired of all the gun violence. We heard the gunshots. We stuck our head out the door to see what was going on. Um, screaming at first and it got quiet. And then all of a sudden we heard the sirens and knew what was coming. It's just a matter of time. It's coming every day. Now that man does maintenance on homes down the street here. He says he's been working on those homes for about three weeks. He's heard gunshots every day of those three weeks that he's been down there. Coming up all new at five, you'll hear from somebody who lives in those houses and why she's so upset, what she's asking this community to do to try to stop the violence. Julie will have that for you on Not In Your Side at five. Yeah, that's a lot of gunfire. Bryce, thanks.